morning. You're looking spruce today, Rupert. Why, thank you, Rupert. <laughs> you always did have impeccable taste. <laughs> morning, Dad. Good morning, son. Morning, Mum. Goodbye, Mum. Rupert, where are you off to in such a hurry? Algy and Pong Ping challenged Bill and me to a soccer match today. But I guess those plans are down the drain. Well, I hope you're not planning to go splashing through puddles like you did yesterday. <laughs> I warned Bill we were getting soaked through. But he says once you've splashed through one puddle, you've got to splash through them all. Huh? That's funny. What is, dear? I thought I saw the professor. Out in this weather? No, right here in the mirror. It must have been a trick of the light. Hi, Bill. <laughs> Looks like Algy and Pong Ping will have to take a rain check, doesn't it? <laughs> Very funny, Rupert. <laughs> How are you feeling? Terrific. What do you think? <laughs> I think you splashed through one puddle too many yesterday. Before you say I told you so, Rupert, I'm going back to bed. Goodbye. I don't know which is worse, his cold or his temper. Oh, well, I'm sure Bill will be back to his old self again once he's... Oops. It's a good thing Mum told me to wear my wellies. That's odd. Professor? Algy? Mum? Rupert, where are you off to in such a hurry? Dad? Good morning, son. Morning, Dad. Hey, that's me! But what am I doing? Something very strange is happening in Nutwood. Hello? Professor? Hello? Anyone home? He must be busy working. Hello, Professor! I was wondering if you'd noticed anything strange happening with... Mirrors? Professor? Hello? He can't have gone far. This machine is still warm. <gasps> What's going on? Professor, there you are! Or are you? That's odd. I have no reflection, and the professor's reflection has no professor. <laughs> professor? Hmm. Hmm. Amazing! Hello, Professor! Oh, where did you come from? The same place as you. Hmm. I just jumped through the mirror. You did? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, of course you did. <laughs> hmm. I thought I should tell you your experiments are having a very strange effect on mirrors all over Nutwood. Hmm. Perhaps I've done it after all. <laughs> Blast and thunderation! Are you all right, pro Wait a minute. You're not the professor at all. You're his reflection, aren't you? Nonsense! What makes you say such a silly thing? Your pocket watch. Everything's backwards, just like a mirror image. Where's the real professor? How should I know? That daydreaming layabout is off exploring Mirrorland, which leaves me here to do all the work on my own. Now get out before I have you arrested for trespassing. I hope everyone in Mirrorland isn't as bad-tempered as the professor's reflection. Hmm. I suppose I'd better find the real professor. At least I know my way around. <laughs> as long as I remember everything is backwards. Hi, Algy. Pong Ping. Rupert, what are you doing back so soon? Back? I only just arrived. Stop fooling around, Rupert. You only left here a minute ago. You've got me confused with someone else. I'm not the Rupert you know. I'm... Whoa! <laughs> what? 
so funny. <laughs> Sorry, but you look just like the Hall of Mirrors at the fun fair. Oh, yeah? Well, if anyone looks funny, it's you wearing a raincoat on a sunny day. Yes, it isn't raining here, is it? You said you were going to find Bill so we could begin our game. I did? Then if I go to Bill's house, maybe I'll meet myself there. With Rupert helping me, I can track down the professor twice as fast. If you don't want to play, just say so! Meeting myself could be fun. Rupert! Sorry I'm late, but I haven't forgotten our match. We'll show Algy and Pong Ping a thing or two. Bill, have you seen me around anywhere? They said I'd gone looking for you, but it looks like I didn't find you after all. I wasn't home because I had to run an errand, and then... What in the world are you talking about? It's a long story. Let's go back to your house. I'll explain on the way. <laughs> oh, I feel horrible. Even worse, because I was horrible to Rupert. I hope he... Bill! Huh? <laughs> Rupert? What? How? Hello, Hello Bill. Bill. Are you, Are you feeling any better? Oh, I must be sicker than I thought. Achoo! That's odd. According to the laws of Mirrorland, I should be just as sick as poor Bill. We have to find the professor and put things straight. You're right, Rupert. You nutwood folk would be in a sorry state without us. However, would anyone brush their teeth, comb their hair, or put on their Sunday hat? Even worse, I think the professor's experiment is causing serious side effects here in Mirrorland. Oh, I see what you mean. The distortions are getting stronger. The Mirrorland professor is still experimenting with that ray gun. We'd better stop him before things get any worse. We'll have to be careful. The last time we met, he wasn't in the best of moods. You're such a humbug. You want all the credit for yourself. Why is he shouting at himself in the mirror? That's not a mirror. That's not it at all, I assure you. The professor's being held prisoner by his own reflection. I've made a terrible blunder, and I don't want you imitating my mistake. Imitating? How dare you accuse me of imitating anyone? Now tell me why my invention isn't working. What do you mean, your invention? You merely copy everything I do. Are you calling me a copycat? But of course. After all, you're my reflection. Not for long, Mr. Smarty Pants. I'm fed up with always working on your inventions. Once I make it through that mirror, I'll be the one that comes up with the ideas, and you can be my reflection. <laughs> I wish he'd stop doing that. Look at this. Mirrorland is cracking up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Hold on to your socks, Bill. <laughs> oh, my! Well done, dear. We wouldn't want to break a mirror. It's seven years' bad luck. Goodness! What is LG doing riding his bicycle in our sitting room? and thunderation! You're going to upset the entire balance of Mirrorland! Think of the horrible possibilities! Oh, how can I think at all with you constantly nattering at me? 
You must stop and reflect on the consequences of your actions. You'll be doing the reflecting from now on, Professor, and you can start in the dungeon. <laughs> Wait! No! That nincompoop thinks he's so clever, but I'll show him who's who. We've got to get inside. Looks like he doesn't want visitors. Oh, I don't think I can take much more of this. Neither can the rest of Mirrorland. If breaking one mirror brings seven years bad luck, imagine what breaking all of Mirrorland means. Come on, we don't have much time. I'm sure he won't expect us to come in from the roof. It's a good thing I wasn't at the top. The ladder is too risky as long as he's fooling with that ray gun. We'll never get in at this rate. It's hopeless. No, it isn't. I know the real professor's habits. Once he starts an experiment, he never rests, which means his reflection has been up for a few nights in a row as well. With a bit of patience, we may be in luck. everywhere for you. We were afraid you'd been buried in the earthquakes. Have you felt them? Cracks are appearing all over Mirrorland. Oh no! Things sound worse than we thought. You're right. We may need more help. Rupert, what are you doing here? I just left you in Nutwood. That wasn't this, Rupert. Do you think you could get a message to Bill? I'll do my best. But you are Bill. He means the other Bill. Tell him to go to the Professor's Tower right away. There may be something he can do to help us. But we're at the Professor's Tower already. Not this... Oh, never mind. Come on, Algy. We've got to get back to my house as quick as we can. That's much better. Hello, Bill. Who's there? You. You who? You who? Over here. Oh, no. It's happening again. I'm hallucinating. I'm not a hallucination. I've got a message from Rupert. Oh, I get it. You're my guilty conscience come to torment me because I still feel bad about being so grouchy with Rupert this morning. Yes, yes, whatever you say. Now, listen closely. Rupert wants you to get to the professor's house as fast as you can. And don't forget, I know a lot of shots. A copycat. <laughs> Professor Rupert, well done, my boy. I was beginning to despair that no one from Notwood would ever find me. 
know it's really me and not my reflection. I recognize the real McCoy when I see it. Unlike that rascal who locked me up, I might add. How did you get yourself into this mess, Professor? I imagine you've heard the old expression, two heads are better than one? Yes. Well, who better to collaborate with than myself? I had surmised that two so closely like-minded thinkers wouldn't waste time in unnecessary arguments. As you may have noticed, I was sadly mistaken. He doesn't act like a reflection of you at all, Professor. What happened? I'm afraid the poor fellow may have been warped by the effects of my mirror travel ray. Since he was standing in the mirror at the time, he took the full force of the blast head on. It's no wonder that scoundrel has caused so much trouble. He's got everything backwards. Hold still, Rupert, while I change the settings so we can go home. The Mirrorland Professor is going to be very cross when he discovers the secret to mirror travel has been right under his nose all the time. Quite the opposite. <gasps> <gasps> oh, my. In fact, I'm very grateful. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. I'm the smartest of them all. Oh, no, you don't. Oof. Oh, get away from my formula! Time to go, Rupert. After you, my boy. <gasps> oh. You're not going anywhere! Uh -huh. Professor! Oh, oh no! Oh. Rupert! Funny, I thought I heard him. Hmm. No one here at all. Fake fraud. Sham. Flim flam movie. What's going on, Rupert? Why are you still here? I can't tell who is who. Scoundrel. Leobar villain. Neither can I. Oof. Fraud. Oh. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. How can we get back now? Look, Rupert. It's me. Uh, Bill, I knew I was hallucinating, and now I'm hearing things. Bill, don't go! Rupert, where are you? Behind you! Look in the mirror! I told you I wasn't a hallucination. What's going on? No time to explain. You've got to fire that ray gun or the professor and I will be trapped here for good. Let go. You started it. Aha. So you admit it. Never. Scoundrel. Play about villain. Uh-oh. Hurry, Rupert. You don't have much time. Hello, Bill. Hello, yourself. But I don't know who's the real professor. I'm the genuine article. No, I am. No time, Rupert. Make your pick. Oh. Yeah! Come back! Thanks, Bill. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Both of you. Haven't I always said it's a shame there aren't two of me? Are you sure you got the right professor? Of course. I know the real McCoy when I see it. And besides, I checked his pocket watch. <laughs> <laughs> Good thinking, my boy. <laughs> Your reflection is much happier now that everything's back to normal. Not everything, Rupert. Look! There's me, but where's you? I hope Miraland didn't suffer any permanent damage. Don't worry, Rupert. I anticipate some residual effects from our adventures. I'm sure your reflection will catch up with you before long. I hope so. Where can he be? Sorry, 
I'm late. So there you are at last. I wish we could have met in Mirrorland. I was too busy looking for Bill. Poor Algy still thinks we've played a joke on him. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to, Rupert? Oh, uh, just myself. My word! That's a very clever trick, son. How do you do it? Well, Dad, <laughs> it's all done with mirrors. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs>